change with you guys. We're going to be sleeping in my fort once again. But, um, it's raining. Let me clean my camera lens off. So, rain's still getting in the fort a little bit. So, we're going to be a little bit wet during the night. My head part, that's why we're going to have a hood on. My hood on. Water's still getting in there somehow. Right there, even though I have it blocked. But, we're going to have a blanket over that. I'm going to have, like, a... Uh, yeah, hoods on. My hoods on. Help keep my head more dry than what it... Because hopefully my head doesn't get wet. Because we don't want that. But we'll just see how the night goes. Because the water is actually dripping in. Let's see if I can fix that problem now. Or if I just made it worse. Because I don't know if I did. Because... I'll be with you guys in a little bit when I fix the problem a little bit better. So I think I fixed the problem a little bit. I got that board pushed back a little bit more and that board holding it back. It should be a little bit better. Some of the stuff got wet, like this blanket's gonna be over the board to keep the, or not to get other stuff dirty and muddy. But you can see the board's a little wet. We're gonna have a blanket over that. So if, we, if my head gets a little wet, that's why I'm gonna have a hood on. But I brought a water bottle, obviously for water. Brought my phone, just in case if I need to text anyone or need anyone to help with something if there's an emergency. Got my sleeping bag, which is right there. The low is going to be in the 40s. I'll look at that later if I remember to. But other than that, let me put you guys a time lapse where I make my bed. So, I did not. I forgot to do the time lapse, but we did get my bed made. My bed made. So if you guys didn't see the the time lapse, got the sleeping bag, um, the blanket that goes on the board. I'll explain what that blanket's for. It's for putting it on top of the board because it's my brother's sleeping bag. He does not want it to get dirty. We did. We fixed that gap. I fixed that gap earlier. Um, the rain's still coming in a little bit. It's going to be damp in this area a little bit in the morning. But it's, help, it's keeping rain out a lot better than what it was. It is raining right now. My, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid I am, I'm, I'm a 10. Because I'm going to sleep out here in a fort that ain't weatherproof of rain and snow. And most likely get wet a little bit. Gap up there, obviously. Not worried about that. Nothing usually comes through there. And... Bad news. This just broke off my uh, tripod. I'll fix that later. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, I got my bed made. Got this battery pack to charge my phone, which is at 29%. Got a water bottle. Got the bag for the sleeping bag. And I got wool socks in here. If I need them, I might put them on before I go to bed. Uh, I did bring out melatonin just to help me sleep just help me get relaxed because i don't know if i'll be able to sleep in here tonight but we're doing something a little bit different with this video we're gonna be cook like last video we when we stepped in the fort it was me cooking supper that night it is going to be me sleep or cooking breakfast tomorrow morning before bowling because i don't know what time i'm gonna get up i got my bowling league in the morning uh, probably post a few shorts on bowling. But, I did post a couple shorts last week. Maybe two weeks ago, I don't know. Maybe almost two weeks ago. Of shooting clay pigeons, I posted three. Uh, they didn't get, they did not get taken down. I posted two after that day. After the day. I posted two another day. And shooting clays, clay pigeons. So they got taken down. So my freaking, uh, mm, what's it called? My YouTube channel is on a warning, and I get I can get strikes. If I get one strike, can't post anything for a week, and all that kind of stuff. There's like three strikes or something like that. I'm on a warning. It ends on May something. So, other than that, hope we stay dry. Hope we stay warm. 
so for breakfast, we're going to be having eggs and bacon. My dad has this little grill. It's propane. We're going to bring it up here in the morning, cook some food, because we're not building a fire, because it's all going to be wet. It's going to be hard to make anyway. And plus, this bacon is not store-bought bacon. It's really, it's really good bacon. It's not bought like from Walmart or Aldi like that. It's very good bacon. Well, we got a lot of it. Got good eggs. But other than that, uh, this might be it for now. I'll say some. I'll get back on here, to say something. If I wake up or if I can't sleep, saying like I'll probably say how the weather is. If it's good or bad or anything like that. But other than that, I will be seeing you guys in the morning or the next time I wake up. So, you guys stay tuned and hope I get some good night's sleep and not be cold and soaking wet all night long. So, other than that, you guys stay tuned. So, guys, it is currently uh, 10.37, which I'll show you. 10:37. So I haven't gotten any sleep. I just been here chilling, watching videos. This board ain't that comfortable. Uh, I really wish I'd be in my bed right now, or at least on a couch, or at least some carpet. I'd rather be on one of those than this board. But I'm doing this for you guys. I'm cold. Let me check. The temperature uh, outside, because last night I checked, I was like in the 40s. It actually stopped raining for once. It stopped raining for a while. I'm cold. The blankets actually got a lot of pieces from bark on it. Um, I think rain is starting in a few minutes. Rain starting in 11 minutes. I'll show you guys here. 40 degrees. Rain starting 11 minutes. So we're going to be getting more rain. Sadly, I'm going to check the radar. See if it's if it's bad. If it's going to storm tonight. If it's going to storm, I most likely won't sleep out here. Just, just because... First reason, don't make, uh, so, we're supposed to get in a little bit of bad stuff. Like, I don't want to be out here when it storms, because if I, if it starts storming bad, I can't really go inside, because I leave all my good, the good stuff out here. But, I'm not sure yet what I want to do. I'll show you the radar. I can get it till now. So that's now where the blue dot, which is in the middle, you can see that stuff might come up to us. So I'm going to skim through it a little bit. But I, I think it's just all rain. But I'm not sure yet. I'm going to. Be looking at the hourly. It just says rain. That's all it says. But. It doesn't say any storms. So we will most likely stay out here. For the whole entire time. But we'll see how the weather goes. If it starts pouring down rain. I don't want to really be out here. For the one simple reason. My head's going to get soaked around this area where my blanket is because water still goes through there and plus I don't want my head to get wet because I, I don't want to really get sick real bad and get something that's not good if you all know what I mean but like I said we'll see how the night goes hopefully I sleep through it so I'll see you all the next time I wake up or I'll see you all in the morning. I'll see how the night goes. I'm cold. Let's see. I forget the low. It, the real feel. 
It's 34 degrees. It's 34 degrees. So now the low is 39, so it did drop a temperature. Rain and drizzle. So it's not storming, but that's gonna be it. Um, wake. I'll make a video if I wake up, and or if I wake up in the morning. So, see you all the next time I wake up, and hopefully, I'm s not wet. That's the main goal. So, see you all in a little bit. So guys, um, I don't sleep the greatest. Like I did last time. Last time I slept a lot better than what I did this time. So you guys can't see me that good. Cause last time when I fell asleep, I didn't wake up at all. But this time I, I kept waking up after I fell asleep. Like I woke up at two one time, and then one time I woke up at four. Sometimes I woke up at five. So I didn't sleep the greatest. Uh, like I said, it's bored and comfortable at all. But currently, let me check the time. It is six forty-six. So I'm hungry. So if I'm hungry, I'm gonna go get some food. So we're gonna be cooking scrambled eggs and bacon. But we gotta go down to the house to get the bacon and scrambled eggs. I actually say dry last night. I had, no rain came through. It's not damp in that one area, which I'm actually surprised about. But we gotta get out of this thing. Go get some food from the house. And after I get the food, I'll see you all in a little bit. So I went inside, got the food and stuff, which is in here. There's lunchbox we always use. Got to go into our sh one of our sheds to get the uh, what should I call it? The grill. Got my tripod broke again. This uh, the door will stay open. But sorry if our shed's a little bit messy. But we gotta find the hot stove, or not the hot stove, I always call it a hot stove. It's called a grill. I don't know why I call it a hot stove. But we need a one of these small propane, pulp, propane tanks. I think this will be enough for what I'm doing. Well, no, we'll bring up this one. Um. Uh, now I gotta find the grill, which I don't know where it is. So I'll be, oh, I've just found it, right? When I was gonna say, I'll be back in a little bit when I find it. But of course, now I have to just find it. So we gotta shut that lid. All right, I'm gonna set you guys right down here for a sec. Actually, I'll be back in a little bit when I'm up at the fort and ready to cook, so. You guys stay tuned. Okay, I put my tripod back together. It's not a good tripod. I'll have to get a new one. And a better one next time. Sorry if it's a little dark. I have to go grab my flashlight from my fort. Which I'm going to grab now. Oh, oh crap, it's still on. I forgot to turn it off. That's going to waste the battery of that. But, on the bright side, it's at least still on so you can use it. Like, it's bright enough for me to see outside, but maybe for you guys, it might not be as good. If you guys can't see me as well. Ugh. Got the flashlight. Which you can tell. It's a good flashlight, actually. It's, like, not working as good because it's in the cold. I'm going to put the flashlight right here. Hopefully I make make you guys help see me a little bit better. But I'm gonna have to dim it a little bit. But hopefully that's a little bit better. Not to get this stuff fired up. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. You guys wanna help? 
Got the stove. I'm gonna open the stove up. And I have to put these on the side to help. I see I'm putting something. And on the side, there's something on the side of the green thing. There's a hole on the side that, that will go in the hole to have the sides go up to help the, the stove stay up. And we obviously got the part where the propane goes on. So we've got to find the hole, so which is right here. I think I'll show you guys. So you would twist, I'm going to twist this on. Which I'm obviously doing right now. Got to twist it on nice and tight. So I just showed you guys how to do it. I just now got to make it tighter. Well, my hand's a little bit cold, so it's going to make it a little bit harder for me to do that. That might be fine. I'm not sure. Just getting it nice and tight. Just gotta twist this too. See what I'm doing. And you also gotta twist this part, the longer part, a couple times to actually make it good. Now what we. So my GoPro keeps ending the video. I don't know why. So we'll just kind of have to go just keep playing and playing it. It just keeps ending it. So I'm sorry about that. You gotta get this nice and tight again. Maybe one more time around. Now what I do is put the propane tank on. Gotta twist it on, which I'm doing. Which it is going on, I think. Yep, now it's going on. Like that. Gotta make sure it's on. Now, I can just lay kind of like that so now you gotta grill that's mini so mini grill now um to actually work it you actually gotta use a lighter too to actually run it so you gotta light it so it's gonna take a little bit longer because it's cold but yeah you can kind of see it's on. I don't have it on high. I don't think I do. Yeah, now I just I just now turn it on high. We can see what now it looks like. So we're gonna be turning that on low just for now. I don't want that to be off. So I'm turning those both on low. Let me get the um stuff for the, the eggs and stuff. Hope I didn't bring up too much bacon for myself. Because I don't know if I'll eat all this bacon. But I'm a little chilly, actually. So I brought two pans. One for the bacon and one for the eggs. But now, I didn't bring up cheese for the eggs. Or, I didn't even bring up a plate. So I'm going to have to call my mom or dad. Bring me up a plate, because I forgot to bring up one. So, we got to use something to make this grill level, because it's not level at the moment. But, yeah, we don't have a plate. Well, I don't have a plate, but I'll be back with you guys in a little bit when I have a plate. So, we are back. My dad brought me up a plate. I'm gonna toss my phone in my fort real quick, so I'll be back in like 10 seconds. All right, guys, I'm coming back to uh, cook the food I'm about to eat. Gotta put both of the pans on. If one stays on, it should. Now I don't have anywhere to sit. Which is kind of sad. 
Well, I guess I can kind of sit on the table type deal. But now, I'm gonna put you guys somewhere you can watch me cook. You can watch me cook. And I forgot to bring butter up too. So, I'll be back down a little, or be back up here in a little bit. Cause I forgot the butter. So we're back. I didn't get the butter, I got the spray stuff. Which will still be fine. Now I think we can start cooking. I'm turning the hands around this way. So I'm gonna be turning these on. Just like that. So I'm turning them on low though. Just on low. We're gonna put the eggs on first. Gotta spray that stuff on. Uh, now we gotta get the eggs. Like I brought four eggs out. Put it in this container and shook it all up. And that wasn't supposed to happen. So now we only have like two eggs because it ain't even. But sorry about me spilling that. Did not mean to. So I gotta clean that grill out later. That's why I hate about this grill not being even on this table or whatever. Now I can only cook like two eggs. But it's still for the fun. Or still gonna have a little bit of fun. Doing this. But I don't really actually really care. So I got spilled because to be honest, I ain't that hungry. Just to be honest. I'm gonna turn that down low. So now I'm gonna put some bacon on. Hopefully I don't mess up this cooking. Slap one piece on. Slap another piece on. And this gotta slap another piece on. This will fit around three pieces at a time. I think I brought five pieces up, six pieces up of bacon. Are the eggs even cooking? Well, I'm gonna turn the bacon on low because it's gonna be hard for me to, you know, concentrate on two things. So I'm just gonna put you guys right here where you guys aren't really getting in my way. But, yeah, it's gonna be good right here. Everything's falling off my plate because I gotta fix this table because it's kind of slanted downhill. So the eggs, I have them low. Cause they don't cook as they don't won't take as long. So I'm cooking the eggs right now. Actually, we'll show you. Yeah, I won't have as many eggs, sadly. I thought I could fold you guys up like that. So just gotta keep stirring them. So next time, if I cook something up here. Uh, maybe not spill it next time. Because next, next time if I spill it, I'll be so irritated. Oh, I did bring something to flip the bacon in. A fork. Oh. If the eggs, I'm assuming, will get done first. So I'm going to make those first. Eat them and just cook the bacon, or yeah, cook the bacon while I'm eating the eggs. That's all I'm going to be doing. Hopefully. Because these are almost done. They look good though. Yeah. Like I said before, I wasn't that hungry, so I don't really care that I swallowed those eggs. So they're almost done. So I got some white parts on it. Want to get those to be yellow. The bacon, don't know if it's ready to flip yet. We'll give it a couple more minutes. I'm not a chef, just to let you guys know that. So I think the eggs are done. I'm not sure if I want to cook them for a little bit longer. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I'll eat them like that. I'm a little bit hungry. Yeah, not a lot of egg, not a lot of eggs, but that is okay. Cause I'll still, cause like I said earlier, a bunch of, much a billion times, I ain't that hungry. And I'll show you how the eggs turned out. Turned out pretty good. Plus, I'm having more bacon anyway. I think the bacon's ready to be ready to be, be flipped. So, set you guys right there. See if it's ready to be flipped. Nope, not just yet. Not yet. So put it back down. Give it a few more minutes. So I'm gonna give the bacon a few more minutes for that one to, before I flip it. Now I'm gonna try the eggs out. Cause I don't know how good they're gonna be. So I, I can't sit anywhere. That chair is wet. But I guess I just sit on this tire then, because if I get it a little muddy, my sweatshirt or pants, go I can change and then get these pants washed. So I'll sit on it in a little bit. And I'm just starting to eat my eggs. Those ready to flip. No, not just yet. Yep, like I said, give those, give those a little bit more. Now I'm actually going to start eating my eggs. So I'm gonna turn you guys to this way. I hope this, yeah, I hope this ain't making you guys too hungry. But the eggs turned out pretty good. I'm gonna try them without uh, cheesing them. They taste good. I'll show you once again. How they turned out. They're not bad, but when the cheese, they make them a lot better. Yeah, oh, I always, I would recommend using cheese. And then it would actually give it flavor. Yeah. I'm glad I spilled some of that egg because I ain't gonna be, I'm not that hungry. And I don't think I'll be able to eat more eggs on top of bacon. So, that's why I'm glad with this little eggs where I saw room for the good bacon. Plus, I wouldn't want to waste the food, right? So, um, yeah. Finish with the eggs. Just toss the plate over here. Because we will be using it again. Got this fork. Go take you guys to the um bacon, the good looking bacon. Look how good delicious that looks. I hope it's ready to flip because I don't know. No, maybe oh, that's almost done. No, I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Hopefully this bacon turns out good. But we'll just see how it turns out. Now it's cooking a little bit faster. Maybe not up that hard. So. Oh, raise it up. Okay. I will turn it up a little bit higher. They cook it faster. Yep, turn it down a little bit. That side's done. Yep, might want to wreck. Right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Right, I'll burn it. Yeah, I wish we had tongs because ours actually broke. So I have to use a freaking fork to flip this. Oh yeah, some of it burnt. Uh, I might just not eat the burnt part. 
so I didn't mean to get it burnt. But that is okay. I gotta get the plate over here. So those might be done. I don't know. Yeah, I hate this plate. Or this, yeah, this pan. Because this pan's not as good as our other ones. I might have ruined the bacon. And tongs make it a lot easier for this. Hope the next two pieces come out a lot better. That one's done. Actually, no. It has to cook on that one side a little bit more. That one done. Let's take this one off the plate. I think this one's done. Yeah, that one's done. This one most likely is burnt on this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that. Uh, yeah. Like I said before, I ain't a chef. I ain't good at cooking. But hopefully the bacon still turned out good because I don't just want to waste the bacon. These two pieces will come out a lot better. Just trust me on this. Make a smarter decision on to not have it on hot. Ah, that kind of hurts when it splashes back at you. Now it's her mouth down a little bit. We're cooking a lot faster than the other ones, I can tell you that. Yeah, they're not ready to flip just yet. Let's turn that down a little bit, that's up way too high. It's not like cooking if I take it off the freaking pan, or the grill. That one might be ready to flip. Yeah. That one's ready to flip. Okay, flip that one. That one looks like a good piece. I did not mess up on that one. This one was not ready to flip, but might as well flip it. Well, I think what coast kind of ready. So. Oh, yeah. I think that might think it might be done. So, piece of bacon. No, so I need to cook for a little bit longer. But right, this will not be done. Take that one off. This one is easy. The only one needs to cook, so let's put it in the freezer. It cooks a little bit better. My GoPro just is down to 45 cents. So we got a charge that or change the battery soon. We'll turn it all the way up. What's it all the way up? Oh, you can... That's what all the way up looks like. So we're going to get that finished real quick. But by turning it down. That side, no, I'm sorry. That side again. Turn that up. If you guys have any improvements on how to cook a lot better than what I am right now, comment them down below. Cause I need some improvements on how to cook better. But I think that piece is most likely done. Oh well, yeah, it is done. Toss it on the plate, turn the stove off. So I'm gonna show you guys my little kitchen I had. There's blisters right here. I already ate my eggs, but it's time for the bacon. So I'm gonna place you guys right here. See how this is the fry pan? We're gonna dump the grease in one of these tires with dirt in it. Now I gotta let that pan cool. Place on that rock. 
that you can tell the rocks cold from the weather and the um, rain. So you can hear that sizzling noise. I put the plate like this, which we all, which we all love. But now, it's time to eat the bacon and see how good it turned out. So I want to turn out or start out with the bad piece. See if we can. My thing just fell, so make sure it doesn't fall again. We're gonna tear off the burnt pieces. Uh, this time I'm on the ground because I'm not eating the burnt pieces. Because you know how burnt tastes. But we got most of the burnt off. We got half the bacon left. Yeah. This stuff is very good bacon. Um. Let me try this piece. This piece is one of the better ones. Yeah, this piece is a whole lot better. 100%. So, if you enjoyed, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like, hit that like button down below. If you're actually watching it through this far, so this will be a little bit longer of a video than all my other 20-minute ones. I think I have to look up the time, but like I said, these are amazing. Pieces of bacon. We obviously got the two burnt, more burnt pieces. I will eat the burnt part. So next time, most likely we'll make it on the fire if it's not raining and all damp. Because I wasn't going to try making a fire when it's wet. You know how hard that can be. So. Keep eating my bacon. I'm going to cook with you guys in a little bit while I'm not eating my food. And then after I'm done eating my food, when I come back, um, I we'll have to clean up the mess. I need to take everything from my fort into side of our house. Into inside of our house. So, you guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm back. Uh, gotta get the little kitchen, whatever you want to call it, I made. Like, because I made a mess. So, I gotta make this quick, because my GoPro is totally not at, like, 32%. So, gotta make this quick. My hands are greasy, everything's greasy. Uh, and now, I'm gonna drop some silverware on the ground. Now I gotta find that silverware. Ugh. Uh, I don't know where the spoon. Oh, I found the spoon. Let me get it real quick. Just like that. So the main part, we gotta get the grill apart. So first, I'm gonna take the grill, the pro propane little tank off. How can I say the word propane? Propane that good, but uh, almost got it off real quick. Yeah, almost got it off, guys. So yeah, my hands are so greasy. I can't do the crap. Yeah, my hands are literally so greasy. So, I can I can't get it with my greasy hands. So I'm gonna try something different using my sweatshirt. Hi, Poppy. Our neighbor's puppy's up here again. Okay, we got an audience. Almost got it off. But now you can see all that yellow stuff in there I made, that mess I made. Gotta get all that out of the um, grill. Which I cannot seem to get this on. There it goes. 
finally got it like that off. Now we gotta dump that grill out. So take the top part off and just set it down somewhere. Right here, maybe. Hi, puppy. You're in my way, puppy. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I'm gonna set you guys this direction. I'm gonna get the grill. I'm gonna bring the grill over to here and just dump it. Which you guys will probably see, you gotta scrape some of it out because, funny story, some of it actually cooked a little bit. And now it's hard. It's stuck to it. Our neighbor's dog's looking it up, but who cares? So most of it's out. I'm just getting the rest out. Yeah. We'll have to be wiped down a lot better later. But it's good for now. I'm going to put the grill back together. First, I got to make sure the grill stays on there where it doesn't fall. And my hands are so muddy and stuff. But you know, that's okay. I don't care if my hands get muddy. Just put this in the grill. Hope that grill stays because I'm trusting on that grill. So now I gotta take the propane take off. This is all wet. My hands are greasy, so it's gonna make it harder for everything. This will just go inside the grill, which I'm putting in there right now. I'm attempting to. Put that in there. Not too hard. Gotta get the cap for the propane tank. Smell some of the propane. Just like that. So, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit when I'm back up here because I want to go take the grill down there and stuff. Back down to the shed. So, see y'all in a little bit. So, I'm back. I brought a wheelbarrow to help make it ever, everything easier. So, everything I knocked on the ground because one of our neighbor's dogs came up here and knocked everything down. So, okay, I'm mad about that. But we got a wheelbarrow. That's, that's, on, that's the bright side. We got a wheelbarrow. Where you don't have to make like 10 multiple million of trips. So, happy about that. I can happy about one thing. So there's another pan which is on the ground. My GoPro fell on the ground, so it's pretty muddy. I gotta clean it really, really, really good when I get back inside the house. Uh, I got everything in there, I think, or I believe. So now I can toss this in the wheelbarrow. Oh, Gotta get the lighter. Gotta get the flashlight. So now we gotta get. The, everything from the fort into the wheelbarrow before my GoPro dies. So, let's get to this. So, I'm gonna put you guys in the GoPro or the wheelbarrow so you guys can go for a little ride. 30 seconds. So, you guys get to go for a little ride. You guys stay. My bad, it fell over, but I'll fix it. Sorry about that, guys. I ain't the smartest guy alive, but I ain't the dumbest either. Well, I might be the dumbest. But other than that, let's get to getting this out of the fort, which is a lot of things. 
So, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit when I have everything from the fort into here. So guys, we got everything in the fort, or in the wheelbarrow, which you guys can see. It's raining out, my GoPro's really dirty. Gotta clean that. And just gotta hurry, cause it's at 22%. Just gonna set you guys down. You guys get to go for a little ride. It must be so fun. But, other than that, let's go back to the house. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Comment down below any improvements on what I should do to the fort or add to the fort or make on the um, fire next or even the grill. The food I cooked today was good, delicious. I got bowling this morning at like 11 o'clock after I usually do. I think this is my last week for Saturday leagues. But since it did rain like mostly all last night, I'm surprised I stayed dry. Like no water came in before to get me all wet and stuff. But if you, hit, if you have not hit that subscribe button, I just recommend hitting it to see some of my other content. After I post something, you get a notification from it. Turn the post notifications on. So, it's just a suggestion. Suggest I can't. I can't say that word. Suggestion. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But other than that, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, I should be uploading another one. I try to upload up one at least daily, or no, once weekly. So I haven't been uploading much, so I made this to sleep in my fort. But other than that, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll see you all in the next video. Please subscribe.